What's going on guys? Kinger back here with another video and today I wanted to showcase a item in my collection um, and that is my, it's a sealed video game, it's the Yu-Gi-Oh! Dark Duel Stories for Game Boy Color video game. So this was a game released in March of 2002. It was the very first Yu-Gi-Oh! video game to be released. It even has the original Konami logo before the one that they have out right now. It's rated E for everyone with a black ESRB. Not that it really matters because this is Game Boy Color way past the original white ESRB that was changed in 1998. It might have been 1999 rather, I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, and this is for Game Boy Color. The copy I'm looking at right here is pretty pristine. It does have some of those holes in the in the uh, cellophane wrap. I believe it's actually um, right from the factory like that. And... Um, yeah, I mean, some some dents here and there, nothing crazy. I mean, uh, I'm mostly showing you guys the condition here because I do think I'm sending this thing in to get graded. Um, and, you know, the corners are very sharp. I'm really, really pleased with the condition of this game. Um, I'll show you some box art on the bottom as well. So you can see on the, on the bottom of the box, it's a closed end box, which is the newer Nintendo box. The top is where it opens, so you have the Konami logo right there, Yu-Gi-Oh! Dark Tool Stories, and then you have the Egyptian gods right there, so it's Slifer on top, Ra on the left, and Obelisk on the right, and they're in some like weird hieroglyphic kind of font. On this side, you have, once again, really the same thing as the top, the god card, or just the Egyptian gods, the title, and Konami's logo. Um, which I'm be really careful with those. These things are really pricey these days. So as 83% um, total recovered fiber, which is normal. It used to be 100%, and then the N Nintendo changed it. Uh, when their box design changed into the, this format with a closed bottom. Um, some warning labels and whatnot over there. And I believe that's the sides. Now let's move on to the most important, most the most determining section of this box which is the back of the box. And as you can see, um, you have some screenshots right over here. It's all really OG cards, like Dark Magician Girl, Dark Magician. Um, it looks like a Blackluster Ritual right there. Um, and I can't see what that is from here, but typically this game has a lot of normal monsters in it. And I believe that 42 cards in this game, I believe 42 cards, were actually released in this video game before they were even released in real life because this game was released so early in the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG that uh, it was made before cards could have even been printed or, or their sets were even released. So once again, this was released in, I believe, March 19th. I don't remember exactly. I think March 19th, 2002. And I'm pretty sure Legend of Blue Eyes, the very first, like the base set of Yu-Gi-Oh! just came out uh, in March of that year, it was either March or February of that year, but I believe it was March, I want to say 17th, that uh, Legend of Blue Eyes was released. I, I, I just can't remember off the top of my head exactly, but, you know, this is really early for, for a video game to be released. And, um, yeah, so basically, the most important thing about the back, this is really the reason why everybody buys this game, is because it has the three limited edition official game cards inside. So they're more or less just promotional cards, they're promos. And let me zoom in for you here. So we have a Dark Magician on the left, a Blue Eyes White Dragon in the middle, and an Exodia the Forbidden One on the right. So let's go a little bit deeper here. And I mean, you're not gonna see too much because I, I don't believe these are actually stamped with the uh, DDS or anything on it. But if you've ever seen that DDS-001 Blue Eyes White Dragon, this is it, it comes right out of this box. And um, same thing with Dark Magician, so it's uh, Blue Eyes White Dragon is the first set card, Dark Magician is second, and Exodia is third. And basically, uh, they come in like a little like tin, like silver kind of wrapper inside of the box. So if, if I were to open this, which would of course be a sin if I opened this, uh, I would find that there's a manual, I believe there's an advertisement um, there's the cartridge, the insert that holds the cartridge, and there should be a little pack of cards. Speaking of packs, I also want to give away a pack of Team Up 
to whoever's the first person to comment Articuno. First person to comment Articuno, I want to give you this pack for thank you for watching through my video and listening to what I have to say. So all you have to do is just comment Articuno and please um, also mention your at as well or I'll, I'll reply to you, I guess. <clears throat> this is probably not going to be an issue. I don't think there's going to be many people doing it, but uh, drop your Instagram at or I'll, or I'll ask you for it so that I can, you know, get your co contact information to send this out to you. But yeah, you don't have to do anything. I just want to send this out as a thank you for watching. Um, and I'll, I'll, I hope to be doing one of these in every single video. So, so yeah, so back to this. So as I was saying, there, there is a sealed pack in here that contains the three. And the reason why that's so important is it actually contains, uh, all three cards in pretty much pristine condition. So like they're, these were printed very, very well. Um, and there's a really high chance you can get a PSA 10 out of them. And I believe that the Blue Eyes White Dragon is, is going for about like $20,000 or something at the time of this video. Like this is it right over here. And it's debated to be one of the best looking Yu-Gi-Oh cards of all time. In my opinion, it it kind of is. I mean, like I, not just because I own it. I mean, this is my favorite Blue Eyes White Dragon artwork. I'll go ahead and show you guys some uh, with lighting here. So, you know, the, it has the original artwork and it has a prismatic secret rare. It's, it's not even a, a regular secret. It's a prismatic one with the original artwork. And I mean, you know, it's pretty phenomenal to, to look at. I, I really love this card. The only card I like better than this one is probably the started at Kaiba one. Um, a common thing you find on these DDS cards is that they have these white dots on them. Uh, that's, that's really the only thing that you can find on them. And it's very common on, on the PSA 10s even as well. So um, I'm not going to discredit this one right over here. It's it's a very common thing that you'd find on them. But yeah, so that's really the reason why these things are so expensive is that, is that you're more or less guaranteed one of these things out of it. And it's one of the best like cards in the game. And yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys this little copy I have right, right over here. I actually have the original receipt for it. I'll show it to you guys. So this was uh, i don't think it has the date on it but this was actually from november in 2018 so uh you give dark tool stories dds sealed whatever blah 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 and, and usually you, you would advertise it that it has the blue eyes in it because there's two waves i forgot to mention that there's two waves of dark tool stories not all of them are the price of this one so there's this variant which is the very first one it has the dds one two and three Blue Eyes, Dark Magician, and Exodia. And then there's the second wave of this game, which contains Salamandra. Uh, there's a pink dragon, I believe it's pronounced Siaru. And there's a third card, which I'm not remembering off the top of my head right now. Uh, I can't remember exactly what it is. I have a copy too, which is funny enough, but um, yeah, that does not contain these three cards. And this is, this is what everybody wants. So yeah, so in 2018, I paid $2,100 for this, and I, I even got eBay bucks to give me $100 back. So I basically paid $2,000 for this thing uh, almost three years ago, a little over two years ago. And by the way, it has a nice little H seam on there, as you can see. Um, very, nice, very nice quality, but I digress. Um, yeah, I paid about two grand for this thing a few years ago. And there's only one copy I'm finding on eBay. These things are incredibly scarce. Uh, there's only one copy by, I believe it's Core TCG. I think that's their name. They have a copy and they're asking for like 60 grand for it. Um, if you go to their website, they're offering it for 50 grand. I'm not sure if they're taking offers, but when I did message them on eBay, I was I was just kind of gauge, gauging a price. I was curious what these things are going for these days. Um, Cause I dug it up out of my box of collectibles and they actually refused to tell me what the best offer was, but you know, it, it is what it is. So. I'm going to send this thing into WADA to get it graded. I'm, I have a feeling it, sh it should definitely hit a 9 at least. I'm not sure how WADA grades there on their scale. I do have a, if we're comparing to this uh, Pokemon Red here, I I have it and it's got a, uh, a crease right there and it still scored a 70. But of course it's by VGA, it's not by, by WADA. I do prefer WADA's cases, so I think I'm going to go with them for this dark dual stories so that's about it let me get this pube out of here so that's about it um for this video um once again if you are comment articuno and drop your instagram handle i'll send you out this team up booster pack and besides that i hope you guys have a great day thank you for watching